Good morning, my friends. All right, so this is Kyle, Kyle's Film Garage. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, um, I'm an actor, producer, whatnot, and all kinds of things that happen, you will see on this channel. So uh, today, in the midst of doing documentaries and finishing my film, Preacher 6, and uploading things to the channel, uh, to Film Hub, yeah, so we're gonna gear up and start doing some uh, some self-distribution kind of stuff on some documentaries. So I'll keep you all apprised of that. But uh, in between all this stuff that's not making any money, gotta make money. So my buddy, Matt, is uh, one of the head guys at College Humor. That's a dropout. And uh, so he says, hey man, you wanna come do some stuff for a little while? And I was like, well, yeah, let's do that. So yeah, so I'll give you a little walkthrough today little behind the scenes on uh, College Humor and uh, so see what we've done in the past and uh, yeah so you get to see a little a little uh, as Disney would say the backside of water so let's get right to it By the way, I do have my coffee, so well prepared. So we're on Sunset Boulevard right now in Hollywood. It is a beautiful day, and uh, yeah, I just figured you might want to see a little bit of sunset. So I did a documentary um, called Ten City Hollywood, and this is McCadden right here at Sunset. And, uh, and they're putting up planters right there, um, which is supposed to have people not want to, um, you know, be putting tents there, but uh, apparently that's not working. So yeah, by the way, I have like the whole documentary that I did after years of walks, no, not years, but like nine months of like doing this certain walk in Hollywood. And uh, so documentary about the tents in the city and that kind of thing. It's the first link in the description called Tent City Hollywood. And uh, so if you want to support independent film, please go rent that. And you will also have access to a thousand other indie projects on there. It's like Netflix for indie films called O Prime. So, uh, so yeah, click that link and um, it'll get you to the rental page and then that'll take you right to the documentary. So yeah, please support. So I'm not going to go too far down here, um, you know, as far as directions and whatnot to where I'm going. So, but yes, I'm in Hollywood and traveling on Sunset Boulevard. And that is all that we need to know about that. So, all right. So yeah, I'll give you a tour when I get there. Um, and I hope that you are all having a wonderful morning or day or whatever until then. So in a couple of seconds time goes by like you know so fast in television land all right so this is a little super inside baseball so we're at college humor right now and this is the second building that they took over um rented leased you know not took over it sounds like you know they took it over anyway so they're in this building and uh so it's a new stage where they shoot d20 and whatnot so um, basically everything around here, um, I had something to do with the mm, remaking, painting, all that kind of stuff. And this, <laughs> this is the coffee maker. So I wrote this for best results, 10 tablespoons of coffee, or it may taste like swamp. So, so yeah, this is a true story. So. That is the bun, big, you know, coffee thermos maker situation, and you gotta put 10 in there, or it's it's not gonna work. If you do more than that, it's gonna be too strong. So 10 
tablespoons. That's the thing. All right, so basically this is the kitchen area. Got your coffee going. And uh, so yeah, this, this floor right here, we totally use that like two part epoxy garage paint. Let's see, what do we got back here? This is a little, uh, little hangout room. Little, uh, let's see, I'm actually, I'm actually, I've been here the whole time. So yeah, this is like where cast crew hangs out at D20. And um, so that's kind of cool. So, got a little control room, you know. Whoa, it's kind of super dark. So, let's make it not super dark. Cool. All right. Okay, so got your, your crafty snacks, that kind of thing. Um, it's going to be dark in here, so I'm not going to know exactly what you're gonna be able to see but you got your editing sweet little behind the scenes kind of stuff for camera d20 and all that let's see this is the actual set where are the lights hold on you got your makeup rooms you put all these all these mirrors up and whatnot so yeah a couple little makeup rooms little little office here for Whoever needs to be here doing those things. So, yeah, I don't think that um, that they have stage lights that I can show you here. But anyway, so for what you can't see. You know. All right, guys, we're doing a little time travel here. So it's later in the day and uh, we were able to get some lights on. We're around the D20. Now, I can't take you onto the stage because it is a live set. So um, can't do anything, you know, like that. But I can take you to the back and around just so you can kind of see the set. So, yeah, this is what you couldn't see before. So, yeah, so back there, you know, that's, that's back there. That's the set. We can't go back there. And um, so this behind the set, this is where basically all of these walls are, are plexiglass. And uh, these are projectors. So that's how they get the images in the D20 on the, on the backs of the walls is I have these projectors that are, you know, constantly changing pictures and images on the back of the set. And as you can see, you got your, uh, you have them on both sides of the set. You got your camera set up and whatnot. And uh, yeah, so you have more of these sound panels back here around the set. And um, yeah, cool little grid system here that, uh, that we put into this uh, building. Now, okay, I'm gonna make a playlist of College Humor. And then uh, basically you can see from the very beginning of when they got to these buildings of what we did. And we're talking like, every project from painting the walls to building walls and building these sound panels and all that kind of stuff um so yeah i have a, a, a documented everything so uh so yeah if you like that kind of thing and um you know you can definitely check out the playlist because i will create that playlist and it will be available and linked to this video at the end screen so you can check it out or just go to my playlist and find it there college humor here but basically yeah all this stuff so from the moving of this air conditioning duct to putting the carpet in this these stage doors right here this like 10 foot by five foot doors um i made and uh so i made those and the other stage doors all of these all these blue sound panels um we made all this stuff is to keep the sound from bouncing and uh, being in this big echo chamber, which this room when we started was basically a, a warehouse, you know, kind of space. I think it used to be, uh, it was a bunch of different things before it became a stage, but uh, now it's a stage. So we had to go and get rid of some sound bouncing. So we put those up. You got your curtains here, which also like, hey, you know, absorbs sound so did a lot of sound mitigating for 
them to be able to shoot D20 here. So that was last year when the movie did all this. So cool. All right. Yeah, you got all the stuff that you need, you know, in a, in a studio, first aid station, got a big first aid kit there, defibrillator in case anything happens that shouldn't happen. But uh, yeah, so this is totally uh, behind the scenes of D20, the, the tech, you know, area. So where, where a lot of the magic happens. So by the way, if you don't know um, me, first time seeing, seeing this uh, channel or whatnot, so I'm an actor and an indie film producer. And uh, so from the clip in the beginning where you saw the reel and the music and that kind of stuff, those are some scenes from Zombie with a Shotgun, The Chair with Roddy Piper, Andersonville, directed by John Frankenheimer. That's all my acting stuff. And um, as far as like, you know, creativity on the other side of the camera, yeah, I've done a lot of stuff too. So I was um, art department lead for Wipeout for a number of years and or a season and a half, eh, you know, whatever, however you want to call that. Had a company uh, with a few other guys called Designs. We did the third scale sets for Team America uh, back in the day. So that was a lot of fun. And uh, so yeah, I've done a lot of stuff. And you know, I'm just a dude, I'm an actor, and I'm just a dude working in the film industry and I'm making things and trying to be creative and find a way as an independent artist. So yeah, so go check out my documentary. That would be something you can do. And you know, the other things, zombie with a shotgun, the chair, those things, go check them out because that all supports independent film. And I have another film that's in post-production right now called Preacher Six, which uh, has been uh, a few years in the making and um, you know, long story to that, but that is also in post-production too. So we just keep going. And um, I'm also glad that you're here joining me on this channel. So. You know, click like, subscribe, do the things that you do on YouTube to support the channel. And my Patreon is available too, Kyle Hester Actor Guy. And uh, yeah, okay, so let's continue. All right, so I'm outside. We're by the, uh, the other parking lot, the other stage. Check that out. So, more stage doors. Those are, again, about five by 10 exterior doors, done and done. Uh, got a little weather weather wear on them right now. I had a little uh, a little seam opening there, so I just put some some gack in there and fixing that today. Make sure these things last another 20 years. But uh, you know, plywood is plywood, so you got to kind of keep on it. All right, so this is the main stage. So this is where they shoot like all kinds of stuff, like uh, all their TV shows. One sec. You know, stuff like Game Changer makes a noise. Dirty laundry. I'm um, actually all that kind of stuff. So they film all that stuff on that stage right over there Got your green room. It's a pretty cool hangout area. They use this for like cast crew, you know, whatever. It's like a multi-use situation And you come here It's from one of the shows. I don't know what that's from but it's it's pretty funny. So yeah, another little office Little, little production office over here, so that's cool. Kitchen, you know, people gotta eat. All right, and that takes us into the main stage, which is where everything goes. This is the green screen, so I'm in the middle of doing a video about the green screen and like how it's used and whatnot. But that requires actually doing things in the computer with green screen. So that's why this video is on first and the one about the green screen is on second. So yeah, basically, yeah, we did everything. I painted this, by the way, you know, I painted the whole, everything you're looking at is I painted. So that's cool. You got sound panels on the wall. You got more sound abatement here. You just put in some new ACs, so that's pretty cool. So those are like those, those double units with the outside split, split I don't know, split ACs, whatever they're called. So one, two, three, four. So I'm actually very good. All right, my friends, thank you so much. Be sure to do all the things, click like, subscribe, join the channel, join the Patreon. But most of all, go watch my documentary, 10 City Hollywood. It's the first link in this description and uh, that's how you can support an indie film. So I am indie film. That is how you can support indie film. Whoa. All right. See you in the next video.